Hi guys, I'm back again today with another buy me a coffee request and this was requested by Omar. If you want your request to be prioritized within 24 hours, then check out the description for the link to buy me a coffee. So when you purchase a coffee, you can request a video for me to react to and it's not going to take as long as the other request will take, right? Because if you normally would just request um i will have to add it to the list of requests so it might take a couple of weeks days years before we get there so if you want your your request to be prioritized then check out the link but anyways this is before and after fighting islam makachev i don't know how to pronounce his name his last name so correct me if i'm mistaken but before we do start don't forget to subscribe click the bell button and let's get it Oh Anybody you talk to about Islam says this kid is the next world champion. This kid is it. Nobody in the world can beat this kid. Fight fans, welcome back. One thing I learned is he's really f***ing strong. He's still in first gear, man. You haven't seen this guy hit second, third. Despite the unfolding of a new era, the lightweight division remains home oh! to the UFC's roughest and toughest. Though as one unrivaled champion bows out, a void appears for the latest and greatest to take the helm. You realize that Islam is every bit of the fighter as Habib. Here we look at opponents before and after facing Islam Makachev. Welcome. Okay, I'm intrigued now. Presentation. I'm ready for everybody because nobody give me problem from top 10. Islam Makachev joins a recent wave of contenders to nice. emerge from the Russian Republic of Dagestan. After a 12-fight unbeaten run, fighting on some of Russia's biggest stages, Makachev was expected to burst onto the UFC scene in oh. style. Then you have Islam. And Islam appears to be one of these guys whose names you better get used to. However, just a week after his 24th birthday, Islam's grand introduction was knocked off track. As oh. a huge overhand right from Adriano Martins out in Texas produced a shock defeat. Islam got knocked the f*** out his first UFC fight. It just goes to show you that he's human. You yeah. forget when he's that dominant. And he did get caught and he did get knocked out. And it is for sure a blemish on his record. That's why I'm changing the world after this fight. The setback it's would okay to give Makachev a couple knocked of down. years flying under the radar. But the rebound would come stronger. along nicely with a few convincing victories leading him into 12. The next make or break moment would come against a man who stopped Martins. Makachev's previous roadblock in under two minutes. Oh, oh, this is out. Oh. Full of confidence and looking for his fifth consecutive victory, Rajin Cajun Johnson. And so I have to be honest with you, Cajun, when I saw this fight was booked, I was thinking, man, they're trying to get Cajun out of the UFC. That's the first thing that came to mind. What did you oh, think? I think I match up very good against him. Um, I think that we're kind of like the antithesis to each other's styles. I think that he's a difficult fight for me, but I'm equally as difficult to fight for him. I'm not really worried about that anymore. Um, I'm just focused on me and what I have to do. And uh, and I'm really, I see it as a blessing. I'm not really worried about going to the ground with Islam Makhachev. I know a lot of people probably think I'm crazy by saying that, but uh, it's really not a big deal. Some ground and pound in round one opened up an arm bar, making it a relatively easy night's work for Makhachev. Oh, oh, oh. Cries of Islam are ringing around. Well, now I think you see and then uh, I'm sure they understand I am deserved for and I know you 155 pounders don't want to admit it. You don't want to fight this. This is now the game. A lot of people coming. Thank you, thank you, brother. Well, Atif Sigdan, I'm going to go. We'll take a double show. Habib, Islam, do you want to go to the Islam, do you want to go to What does it mean to you that Habib just brought you the belt and put it down there and said, because you're going to be champion one day? I waited waiting when he retired. I want to fight for this bell. This is my dream. What 
of people are very, very excited about you fighting Islam because they feel like he hasn't had a real challenge. And suddenly this fight is announced and everyone said, well, this is a guy that can put him in all types of trouble. Oh, they never fight again. The guy like me, you know. A year later, following a convincing victory over another incredible young talent, Islam would find himself up against another man looking to take his fifth straight W. Morris is all but out here, that'll do it! This time bringing the fire, the Tasmanian devil, Davey Ramos. I don't like to, to, to give the, the, the fight 15 minutes. I want to finish the fight. That's my style. That's what I'm, I'm coming for. As you as an expert of submissions, what do you think of Islam's game? There is so good. There is so good. But he cannot submit me, you know? <laughs> oh. At this stage, it was a very dangerous fight for Islam to take. Oh, big punches! But with a clinical display of striking, he passed the test with flying colors. I have some problem between my during my, my training camp, you know, uh, what I hurt my my feet. Makhachev is one of the, the best guys in the lightweight, and soon I think he's gonna fight for the title. Hey, this is tell this guy I I deserve for top 15 or. I want to fight with Brock Lesnar. Powerhouse Islam Makasha. You realize that Islam is every bit of the fighter as Habib. Big names were now being thrown in the mix for Islam, and the Habib comparisons were gaining more and more traction by the day. Oh. And if you talk to anybody at AK, Daniel Cormier, Josh Thompson, Luke Rockhold, they're like, mm, he actually does things a lot better than Khabib. And you're like, what the fuck? Is this guy as good as everybody's, you know, making him out to be? He's like the new hit kid. Is he that good? There's a lot of the really smart guys that are staying away from him. I remember about two years ago, yeah, the only guy willing to fight him was Kevin Lee. Oh, yeah, that guy, that guy has real potential, and he, he's, he can really fight. So that's a fight that really interests me. And I don't really care too much. I'm going to make a statement against Islam. And, and I'm going to do it on the same card that Khabib is fighting Tony. And uh, Khabib can sit there and watch me beat up on his boy. And then we'll make some noise afterwards. That was the time. You couldn't get one of the top draws. Kevin Lee's going, man, what's all the top? Come on, fight a Russian fight this guy right now. But that was a period of time that Kevin hurt his knee. Because all my life I've been training this champion. Now I think I'm ready for everybody. This is the guy that it feels like nobody really wants to fight. But you seem to kind of welcome this fight. So why is that that... You know, this is the kind of boogeyman that nobody wants. And you said, that's the guy. Give him to me. Next up, a tough, solid, and well-rounded Nebraskan on a three-fight win streak, Drew Dover. It's history in the making. Dover! Been the best. Y'all just witness it while others... Drew Dober is for real, and I think people have forgotten because he hasn't been very active. This is a really tough fight for Islam. I've been familiar with Drew Dober for years. He's a... And sad. Chasing challenges is something I've done since I got into the sport. And with my fight with Islam Makachev, this is my opportunity to earn the respect, earn the eyes, earn the fans, and so I can showcase more in my next one. Drew Dober is a beast, and I've seen him compete lately, and he seems to be getting better. I think this fight will determine who the next champion could be. And uh, the more people hype up Islam, the more excited I get to test this hype. I think he's a, overall a great martial artist. And, I want to uh, hear that make after, him uncomfortable. I after see the fight, what he's going to say. What kind of mistakes he decides to make. Humble both in preparation and in defeat. After surviving an arm bar, the American was overwhelmed in the third with a triangle finish. That kid's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Islam, he's, he's for real. Because that kid, Drew Dober, very good. Mm -hmm. For him to handle Drew Dober that way, I was yeah. super impressed. Pakistani wrestlers really know what they're doing. They're they're a problem that uh, no one has seemed to have solved quite yet. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm working to solve that problem, working for that rematch. Different now, now, I cannot be quiet because I have five, seven win streak now. Please, I need some top guy. I'm ready. I will be ready for anyone. Uh, I saw Justin Gaethje, and uh, he approached me and he goes, right? I'm like, yeah, it's definitely felt <laughs> like he's been doing that since he was four years old. For him to be 15 right now is crazy. He is one of the top 10, if not top five lightweights in the world. The manner in which he dominated his opponents was now making life tough for Makashev as very few fancied signing the dotted line. It's on Makachev. That's the boogeyman. They're avoiding. He's so damn talented. Oh. But it's just people ducking for the man to get a fight. Oh, Mahashev is ready to fight anyone. But after watching what he did to Drew Dover, I can't imagine anybody wide enough to say, I want to fight that guy. Do you think that's because they're scared of you? Yes, of course. 
I think they just scared. Right. I mean, a lot of people look at him as like the guy nobody wanted to fight. I mean, do you think? What, what do you think about him as an opponent? Eventually, despite being written off on the most part, it was Tiago Moises who would step up to the plate. Habib is uh, the best lightweight of all time. You know, nobody's like Habib, and his mm. lips not. It's definitely not like Habib. You know. So he has a lot of holes in his game. It's not a lot of holes on his game, but uh, he has a couple holes in his games and. Uh, I want to export that, you know. I can't, I can't finish him, like, striking or submission or whatever. In this fight, I think, uh, knockout. The top 15 oh, lightweights in the confidence. world, Islam Makashe versus Tiago Moises. With a win over Islam, uh, I deserve a top five opponent, you know. I'm going to be right in the mix for a title match. Ultimately, the Brazilian would give a great account of himself in a clean technical fight. Oh! But in the fourth, following a huge slam, Akacha would seal the deal. Drops him, and Israel goes in for the kill. I'm coming, I'm here. Tell these guys, I'm coming. Now I'm gonna talk, you know. Nobody, nobody stop me. That Islam's a problem, dude. Yeah. I grew a lot as a, uh, as a fighter, you know, after my last fight with Islam. And uh, I know that uh, I'm gonna become a champion one day, you know, I, I could see after that fight, you know, uh, especially. It seems like a stylistic nightmare for him because of your ability to grapple and take guys down. We saw what you just did to the last guy, and he's a jiu-jitsu black belt. The past history to set the narrative. Fans were hopeful of seeing Islam fight Ferguson three months later. My dream fights, Tony, because I want to just help him retire it. You know? demolition job oh, look at showed the us just how impressive Makachev oh. really is. Yeah, that's fighting one fucking mistake against the grappler of that level and it just... God, poor Hooker too, like... It was on like, he was on top of me and I was like, wow, like this is the highest sh- stuff in my head. Like, yeah. I, I, in reflection, it's all my mistakes which led to the outcome like that. Dan Hooker, as good as he is, as tough as he is, and everyone loves the guy because he'll fight anyone, anytime, anywhere, just got taken to school. Because this division now, a little bit sleep. You certainly did show that there are levels to this game and you are on another level. I mean, it didn't even seem like you broke a sweat. Makachev said in the post-fight press conference, I didn't need to shower after that fight. Wow. They lose, win, they just wow. come okay. to make business. But I'm coming for take this belt. Damn. At least he w- talks the talk and walks the walk. He doesn't just talk and then nothing. Opening 2022 in style, some great matchmaking would see Makachev prepared to face Benil Daryush at the apex. Benil Daryush and Islam Makachev, you still want to make that fight next? I do, but Joe Rogan just grabbed me in the hallway and told me not to. I think he's fairly rated, yeah. I just don't think he's ever fought me. That's that's the difference. However, with a fortnight to go, a broken ankle would see Daryush ruled out. Instead, it was fellow Californian and 10-year UFC veteran Bobby King Green that would take his place. We're doing what so many could only dream about doing, and you stepped up to the plate when nobody else. Yeah. Bobby Green ain't afraid of nobody, so if anybody's gonna step up to this challenge, this scary person, 
It'll be King Bobby Green. I guess you guys have been little bitches, you know? Well, you know I'll do it. Let me show you how I do this shit. You know? <laughs> Snatch that shit. I'm going. You know? Give me, give me paid and I'll do it. No, we know. He's like great guy, you know? Very funny. Fun to watch it. But there's levels always. Let me show you some real G shit. Get in there and do this shit with the highest guy in our fucking division. I'm going to walk in there like a gangster and punch that guy right in his fucking face. Uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to talk. So Let's kids. see. I'm gonna take him down and tell him, hey, let's go, get out. I'm definitely the, the wild card, the joker, you know? Um, so I don't think he's seen anything like me. Credit where it's due for taking a fight that nobody wanted on short notice. Oh. But unfortunately, Green's fate would be no different oh. to the rest, suffering a trademark first round mauling. Oh. Okay, but you just said it's a first. What did you mean by that? I mean, first time I got taken out like that, you know? It really sucks. I feel what you're doing, and I understand what you're doing now. And so if we ever cross paths, I'll be prepared for him. One thing I learned is he's really strong. So patient. Fucking he's strong. so strong. Oh, sorry for that. He just goes little, little, and a little until he gets right where he wants to be. Isn't mm. Mark Jeff's the best lightweight in the world, man? It's... He's it's pacing. not close. It's I, not I close. Was, I don't even think it's close, man. I think he's going to wash any dude that he gets in that cage with. It's another finish in the first round. Debut aside, Makachev has stepped firmly over the potential banana skins and last minute opposition to put himself in the firing line for a title shot. Another one of these great fighters from Dagestan, Russia. The UFC might have yeah. other plans, but after Oliveira's incredible performance against Gagey last month, a collision between the division's two high flyers would be chaos. The champion right now at lightweight is Charles Oliveira, but a lot of people think that the biggest threat to the throne is one Islam Makhachev. Like you said, do you Ooh. think he beats Charles? Yes, do I do. Do you think he beats Benio? Yes, absolutely. I don't even think that Benil has a I chance. Those, yeah. Another uh, enormous talent in an ever-growing line of Mike. dangerous Dagestani fighters. When I come Despite back, I being a breed who focus on getting the job done, Makachev remains humble. It doesn't matter, step by step, and now I know I'm very close to this title. And if the career of his well-known predecessor is anything to go by, oh, I don't want the it best to end. is I want to watch it. yet to this come. This has been fun. Honestly, I want to Smash all my opponents like Habib too. Oh, this was a fun because it was like less bloody like than the last one that we reacted to. So I could watch it and it's like more of like a documentary. So if you want me to react to more, let me know down in the comments. Uh you can request also buy me a coffee and um yeah, I do give uh all the UFC people big huge props all of them putting their life on the line is crazy like i do muay thai for a uh, workout and i am already dying right my trainer is young and energetic and i'm just like <gasps> in the first five minutes i'm already like uh, catching my breath and my whole entire body is like in pain and um, the the fact that they do this uh all the time they train the fight like props to them huge huge props because it's not freaking easy and yeah i really want to re re watch more of these type of videos because they're so much fun let me know what you guys thought if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye